So, Noel, yeah. do you remember how much grief you gave me about this shirt 25 years ago? Yeah, Bill, but I, I can't hear what you say anymore because I can't hear. Do you remember how much grief you gave me about this shirt 25 years ago? Well, it looks like it's that old, Bill. Uh, but the tie matches, it's, it's bad taste also. So, you know, what more can I say? guy for his snakes. I was just looking at the uh, woods today and uh, trying to look for some snakes. Hey, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it. Man, it takes him a long time to snap that. He's just a video. Is that that bio guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep talking. two hours so we need to get to it before uh, the night gets any older. Um, I was asked to put together a video uh, based upon the footage that I took back in 1992. Cy, Dan, quiet. You're not me, Bill. Right. Um, I did take some video back in 1992. I looked at that and it was really awful but you will see some of it. Uh, so I put out the request that you all got um, time after time and that you all pretty much ignored time after time. Um, so I was starting to panic uh, as time came down because I had some trips that I was going to be taking and knew I had to put together something. So uh, at great personal expense I uh, pulled in a outside consultant to take a look at our class yearbook and talk to some people and come up with an analysis of the class of 1967, uh, which you will see. And then, since some of the videos did come in, uh, I have included them. So, this is what uh, we'll be seeing. Good evening. My name is Dr. Cheryl Jorgensen, and I've been asked to provide a brief analysis of the graduating class of 1967 of Ashland High School. In my work as an inclusion consultant to schools, I typically focus on three main areas. The inclusion of students with disabilities into the regular classroom, the richness of the curriculum and extracurricular activities, and the commitment of the faculty to education and their relationships to students. As most of the material for my analysis comes from your yearbook and anecdotal material, I obviously have a limited view from which to base my analysis. That being said, in regards to the issue of inclusion of students with disabilities, 
it appears that your school did fully include students with physical disabilities, but those with other types of disabilities were educated in self-contained classrooms, which unfortunately was the norm for the day. Ashland High School did excel, though, in its curriculum and extracurricular activities. There was a very strong college preparatory track with advanced placement courses in biology, physics, chemistry, and math, a wide range of bookkeeping, clerical, and related courses, as well as distributive education classes with real-world work experience were offered. Rounding out this robust curriculum were a variety of vocational and technical classes. I found the range of extracurricular activities to be exemplary, and they provided opportunities for any student to be included in an activity in which he or she had an interest. The list of over 30 clubs and organizations is impressive, from student government, to future farmers, to the Arrowettes, to Try High Y, although I'm not sure just exactly what that organization was. Sports, of course, played an important role at AHS with the football, basketball, swimming, tennis, track, and baseball teams all posting winning seasons. Capturing Cardinal Conference Championships were the wrestling and cross-country squads, while the golf team placed 12th in the state. Opportunities for artistic and cultural expression abounded at Ashland High School. The drama department produced two plays while the music department continued the long tradition of showcasing a Broadway musical, The Unsinkable Molly Brown, a spring musical and other performances by the senior choir and the girls' glee club highlighted the vocal talents of the student population. Instrumentally, the marching band debuted a new routine at every football game, and the stage band and orchestra entertained audiences in performances throughout the year. Finally, it appears that the faculty was a dedicated one and sought to inspire and challenge their students at AHS. Teachers like Ruth Newkirk, Wally Tallman, Lewis Thomas, Helen Rickle, Doug Dierks, Byron Burnett, Dorothy Gregerson, and Jim McDowell demanded the best from the class of 1967. And I've heard that a Mr. Ed Plank was noted for his exhortations to his students to go the extra mile. In closing, you, the Ashland High School class of 1967, should be proud of your education and the enduring bonds that it created. That so many of you are here tonight, 50 years after graduating, is a testament to that. A reunion is a time to reflect on those memories together. So here are some of your classmates sharing those memories. In case you don't remember who I am, I'm Arden Lucas Pierce. Welcome to the 50th reunion for the class of 1967 for Ashland High School. I'm really happy to see so many of you here. I hope you have a wonderful evening. The committee has worked very, very hard to put everything together. Have a great time. Remember music, not just band and orchestra and choir, but the extracurricular music. Loading the car with all your friends, windows down, radio up, listening to the music of the Supremes, the Beach Boys, the Beatles, driving around town to see your other friends and hearing their music too. In the root beer stand and back around to do it all over again. Uh, I remember Mr. Plank uh, as, as the gym teacher <clears throat> in, in that Edward G. Robinson voice of his saying, all right, you guys, on your numbers, and also uh, take a lap. Hi, it's Bill Reeve here, or John Pratt without the glasses and goatee. Uh, I remember the advanced biology Florida field trip uh, and how pissed off the other advanced science classes were. Hi, this is Becky Howe coming to you from New York. I loved high school. I loved everything about it. I loved my teachers, my friends, my boyfriend. The band bus trips to away games. And the dances in the gym or the cafeteria or the YMCA. Uh, surrounded by the smell of English leather and ambush. And dippity-doo and parasol. 
and the last dance, the slow dance, theme from a summer place. I remember it all. I remember music. And I remember people, other guys in the gym class, going down to the ends of the uh, the uh, the court there and peeking through the curtains at the uh, girls in their gym ensembles. I remember when we were in high school, Kenny Hefner and I were in the same art class. One day we heard that Wyan was going through the whole school looking for guys with long hair. Our art teacher, Bob Landis, let Kenny hide in the art supply closet until after Wyan had checked our room. Does anybody remember the junior, senior egg fights? Hello everyone, this is Mary Fisher also known as Gorak O'Shaughnessy Dillenbeck. And yes, I'm still vertically challenged. Anyway, my best memory of our four years together was when I moved to Ashland from Hayesville in the ninth grade. And I met many nice people. Everyone was friendly and welcoming and I made many good friends. It was good four years. I'm sorry I can't be there, but I hope everyone's well, and please have a good time. Bye. The dances, the proms, the homecomings. I'm wondering, does anybody remember the theme of the senior prom? Because I don't. I remember how excited we all were to have the music explosion, who were really hot with their hit, Little Bit of Soul, for the after prom party. And I do remember what the theme of the senior prom was, John. Shuloff did it. Hi, this is Dan Thomas. I have many memories of Ashland High School, the new building, uh, the pleasant surroundings, a wonderful community, but my most recurring memories of Ashland High School involve family and friends. I had the particular benefit of living in a high school where my father was also a teacher and I even had him for my senior math class along with many of my closest and dearest friends, many of whom he knew from being at our house and from various school activities. I loved the class, I loved my friends, and I truly look forward to meeting many of them again at our 50th high school reunion. Go Arrows! I love the sports, the music, the musicals. And does anybody remember that dumbass Oh, never mind. I see he's here tonight. Hi, classmates. This is Dave Camp. And I have several memories that I have that uh, kind of propelled me for the rest of my life. Is uh, 65 football team that won the Cardinal Conference down at Dover. That was a highlight. And then as a senior, winning the um, Cardinal Conference Wrestling Championships helped me propel, propel myself into a 10-year 10-year coaching career plus a 35-year teaching career. And uh, I'm just thankful for Ashland High School and you classmates. And my videographer is my 14-year-old granddaughter, Becca. Rejects and prammy -doos. And I'm wondering, what the hell is a prammy -do? All I can think of is the opposite of a prammy don't. What were the prammy -doos? Ah, gosh, they were... <laughs> There are a lot of stories about the prammy -doos, some of them true, some of them false. Um, but one thing that I do remember about the prammy -doos is presenting the arrow um, to the school at a uh, class assembly and how that arrow hung in, in the gym for quite a number of years. Hey, class of 67. I remember in high school, senior year, in advanced physics class, that uh, with Wally Tallman, there were just about 12 guys, no girls in the class. We were acting up one day, and maybe for some reason Kip Reader was doing something, and Wally Tallman with his wire rim glasses and his bow tie, his uh, suspenders, leans forward, and in his voice he said, Hey, Reader! And he flipped him the bird. <laughs> we all howled. We'll never forget that. Um, today we'd probably get him fired. But uh, it was one of the points I remember from high school. And Wally was always such a great guy. I remember I got him to uh, shoot that photo out of Thornburg's for our yearbook as well. So um, certainly miss him. Parking at Thornburg's. 
Ah, yes, Thornburgs. Uh, New Year's Eve, six of us in John Rose, 1953 Buick, got stuck in the mud, and Noel Watson screaming about how his father was going to kill him because he was ruining the shoes that he had just gotten for Christmas. Hey, Jim Spring here, uh, going back through the best memories of going to Aislinn High School. Uh, for me, it's slam dunk, just playing with the clan at all the high school dances, at the Cove every weekend. Great times with uh, Ned, Billy, Al Zaner, Danny Baum, Johnny Leatherman. And I s suggest that uh, we raise a glass to Ned and Billy's memory. We miss them. And uh, signing out from Tennessee, See you guys this weekend. In addition to Vince and I uh, doing some uh, guitar work and singing songs, uh, there was one time we did uh, the barbershop quartet. It was uh, Vince and me and um, I think Pete Zayner. And Vince has reminded me that it was Jim Messner that was the, the fourth person in that quartet. And that was a lot of fun. I liked everything about high school, truly. Well, there you have it, the memories of the class of 1967. Well, some of us anyway. Um, the original request to do a video was based upon the footage that I had taken at the 1992 reunion at the Holiday Inn in Mansfield. Uh, after looking at that footage, I knew that it wasn't all that great and had the idea for this video instead. Uh, it didn't have quite the response that I had hoped for. Yeah, but I did use pretty much everything that was sent to me except for oh, 10 or 15 minutes of John Pratt's ramblings. I'm now going to include some of that footage from 1992. Um, you'll see some faces that are still with us and maybe some that aren't. Um, you'll notice that I'm still wearing the same shirt and still getting grief for it. So enjoy. Uh, yeah, actually, that is my wife, and, and she is uh, what it says she is. Um, Jim Spring uh, sent a, a video telling about his memories of, of uh, singing with the, the clan, right? The clan. With uh, Ned Wachtel, Billy Irvick, Denny Baum, and Al Zaner. So I just wanted to uh, 
recognize that and let people know it, it's going to be included in the video that we posted to uh, to everybody. So glad you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Worrying about whether Dorlo Pizza was going to be open late enough. Now we meet for breakfast and discuss and extol the virtues of our favorite anti-inflammatories. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 